Hi, welcome back to Odoo 16 development tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about URLs and routing in Odoo 16. In Odoo, controllers are used to configure the front end module. Controllers are created by inheriting from controller. And routes are defined through methods decorated with root. Here, let's take an example as if we want to bring all the sale order details into a web page, we can use controller for that. So, here I have a custom module named tips and tricks. Inside the module, I have created a fo folder named controllers and I have added this folder uh, controllers inside the module init file. And I have created a Python file main.py inside the controllers folder and I have specified this file as well inside the folder init file. And inside the main.py file, I have defined the controller like this. I have inherited the HTTP controller and inside uh, the root decorated, I have specified uh, the page URL. And along with the page URL, I have specified some additional uh, parameter as well, which are type, auth and website. Type is used to specify the request type. So it can be either HTTP or JSON. JSON requests are more suitable for executing methods on server and obtaining results and HTTP requests are used when we need to access some resources on the server. Here I have used the HTTP request type. The next parameter is auth. It defines the access to the URL. We can give the auth as user, public and none. If the auth is user, then the current request will perform only for the user. If it is public, the current request will perform for all the users. If it is none, nobody can access the request. The next parameter is website. It will be either true or false value, meaning that if the controller is linking to the web page or not. After that, inside the function definition, I have searched for all sale order records uh, like this. Inside the sales data variable using the search method, and sudo is basically used to get the super user access and inside the values dictionary i have passed the sales data uh, like this now we can render the web page containing the data like this here i have passed the values the dictionary with the required data along with the template now let's see how we can create this template for that, inside the views folder, I have created an XML file salesdata.xml and I have specified its path inside the module manifest file like this. Let's go back to uh, the salesdata.xml file. So here I have created the template like this uh, with the ID TMP sales data, which is the ID we have used uh, inside the controller for entering uh, the page. Uh, so we have used the template here like this uh, module name dot the template ID. Now inside the template, uh, I have given the header as sale order details and I have created a table. And the table headers are given as sale order customer date and state. Now we need to render the t body so for that uh, column values i have used the t for each and where we have used the records to iterate so records is where we have stored all the sale order details uh, here and i have taken uh, at a time a sale order record as order so this order is basically a sale order object so we can access all the field values of the sale order record using dot. So the column values are given as order dot name, order dot partner id dot name, order dot date order, and order dot state. So which are uh, the order name, the order uh, customer, the date, uh, the order date, and the state of the order. Now let's see how it works from the UI. Let's go to UI and update the module.
Let's go to website. Let's type uh, the URL we have specified in the controller uh, here. So let's go back to the Python file and I'm going to copy uh, this URL and paste it here. So now we can see all the sale order details inside this page. So this is the header we have given inside the template. Uh, these are the table headers we have given which are sale order, customer, date and state. So these are all the records we have rendered using the T4H inside the template. So this is how we use URLs and routing in Odo. Thank you for watching.